took a walk down memory lane Back to my childhood once again I'd like to go back there I'd like to go back I'd like to go back there I'd like to go back I'd like to go back there I'd like to go back Just for a day I remember a house in the hills of home You're tuned in to Down Memory Lane for the month of October of 1986. We're going to take a look back at the headlines of the entire month, and we begin with the fact that the Bank of Whitesburg is selling outstanding stock to a Letcher Corporation. Mr. Whitaker, the head of the Whitaker Bank Corporation, stated that the current management, employees, staff, and board of directors of the Bank of Whitesburg will remain in place. Mr. Whitaker stated that the name of the board of directors on the bank will continue to manage and run all the daily business and see that the bank continues to serve the needs of the Whitesburg area and Letcher County community. The name of the bank will not be changed. The proposed affiliation is subject to a receipt of all necessary regulatory approvals and is expected to be completed by December 31st of this year. The Kentucky State Police is investigating a two-vehicle accident one mile north of Weisberg in front of Hoover's Carpet Store on US 119. Nathan Stedham, age 70, of Millstone, was driving a small pickup truck and died in the accident. The occupants of the large truck were admitted to the Weisberg Appalachian Regional Hospital and were in stable condition soon after the accident. They were Burns Mullins, age 28, and Kathy Mullins, age 24, of Weisberg. The police said the accident happened as Mr. Stidham attempted to avoid a vehicle that was attempting to make a left turn and crossed into the path of the Mullins vehicle. The accident is being investigated by Trooper Glenn Tucker of the Hazard State Police Post. The dream of a small community became a reality on Sunday, September 21st with the grand opening of the Blackie Public Library. The crowd was estimated at 150. The Letcher County Library Board served as host for the event. The library is the most attractive idea for its setting. For the occasion, a variety of mountain crafts were done by local artists who decorated the building. Shelby Watts presided over the program. The invocation was given by I.D. Back, who also led the Pledge of Allegiance. An interview was conducted with U.S. Representative Carl Chris Perkins, who spoke during the occasion. Also present was James Seals. Mr. Seals spoke briefly before reading two of his poems. An accident claims the life of an elderly Isom resident. Mrs. Ruby Amberge, age 70 of Doty Creek, was traveling north on Kentucky 7 near Blairbank when she apparently had a heart attack and crossed into the other lane and struck a coal truck. The truck was driven by 27-year-old Rick Bailey of Isom. The accident occurred around 8.40 a.m. The Letcher Fire and Rescue was on the scene within minutes. Police stated that the Volkswagen driven by Mrs. Amberge came around the curve on the wrong side of the road. Bailey then left the road to avoid hitting the auto driven by Mrs. Amberge. Mrs. Amberge hit the left front wheel of the truck and the truck traveled about 30 feet before overturning. Bailey was not injured. A Letcher County student at Moorhead State University is among more than two dozen cast members appearing in a special performance of the thread that runs so true. He is a senior at Moorhead, and he is from the community of Isom. This is Rod, and you're tuned in down memory lane. 